thank you all for coming here today. As you know, we're here today to mark the passing of the Celtic Tiger. The Celtic Tiger was born in an accountant's office in 1993 um, in a report into bank shares in Ireland. And the report said that now is a good time to buy bank shares. And um, out of that came a myth. And um, as we're all myths, myths don't have to be real to have power. And this myth certainly had some power. Um, by the mid-1990s, um, it gave birth to another myth, the uh, jobless growth myth, where things are doing fine, but there's no jobs. And this in itself has kind of come back now to, to, to like haunt us. And by the late 1990s, um, a lot of the, of the money that was coming into the country, um, and most of it, less than 10 minutes walk down that way in, in, in the IFSC, needed to find investment somewhere. And where they found investment was not in housing, because Ireland didn't have a, a housing bubble. Ireland had a mortgage bubble. And um, with the growth of the mortgage bubble, um, more and more teeth were put onto this um, somber figure here. Um, so by 2000, those jobs for that mortgage bubble had kind of kicked in and seemingly an immortal figure had been born. They say that uh, the Irish don't protest. Well, they mustn't have heard of Daniel O'Connell's monster meetings or uh, 1913, the lockout, or the Dublin Housing Action Committee, or the tax marches, or indeed the 94% vote by Dublin bus workers to go on strike this evening. But there haven't been huge protests about the ending of the Celtic Tiger and its successor. But there are all kinds of small and continuous protests like this, like the weekly march of the people in Ballyhay who say we shouldn't be paying the debts to Anglo-Irish and the rest of the banks. Now, there are a number of reasons why in this particular country there haven't been the kind of protests and riots that have been in Portugal and Spain and Greece. An ensemble of reasons, for instance, a lack of those to take us out onto the streets, but also because of two shocks, friends, that this generation has undergone. One was the arrival of the Celtic Tiger. We never knew this kind of prosperity, so-called, and growth, what was happening. The other was the shock of the death of the Celtic Tiger. And that has sort of left people reeling. We have gone from full employment to unemployment of 15%, from immigration to mass immigration again. Celtic Tiger, requiescant in pace. Those that caused the speculative slump and who are trying now to pass on the consequences to ordinary people in this country. Non requiescant in pace. Like during the years of the boom, people in this country got very distracted. They got distracted by money and they got distracted by dreams of wealth. And during those years, a lot was created. There was a hell of a lot of things created during, during the Catholic Tiger, and not just jobs, but there was physical things created. And them physical things are still here. All across this city, you'll see buildings, and you'll see uh, developments that were built up during the Celtic Tiger. They're all still empty. So this is a resource that was created during the Celtic Tiger. So we, should, we shouldn't be mourning the death of it, but we should be seeing what can be used or what was created during the Celtic Tiger and how we can get out there and see some positive changes. Like for example, there's hospitals lying empty in the city centre, but yet there's hospitals crying out for more resources. This doesn't make any sense. And it, another thing, like I, said, I don't think the Celtic Tiger is dead at all. It's still alive, but it's being robbed. It's being taken by the banks and the corporations that are out there to, to take over this whole city. So we, we need to be out there and we need to be seen 
the fruits of our labours during the Celtic Tiger because a lot of people work very hard during those years and they work very hard to create something and what they created is still there so I think we should be going out and we should be making use of what was created during the Celtic Tiger and not mourning its uh, passing. The Celtic Tiger, we all thought we could ride her but she would let very few in her just bankers, wankers, and of course, the occasional sinner. But what do the rest of us do in this holocaust of financial turmoil? Well, try not to spoil the greedy man's party. Try not to spoil the greedy man's session while we ride the wave of an unsure recession. And is it testing? Yes. And is it depressing? Yes. But is it a blessing? Yes. Because before the stench of greed that swept through our nations, into our homes, into our bones, deluded visions of grandeur, we thought we could buy the cure. Well, nothing that you can buy can ever taste that pure. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like us all to join me in a minute's silence to reflect on, on, on what's happened and more importantly to imagine a future.